Hi, VC. Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, just didn't have the energy to make videos, so uh, I thought I would do I I would do a, a new update. I've uh, been buying a lot of CDs. Uh, many of the CDs have never been released on vinyl, so and really got into the obscure hard rock hair metal from the early 90s the unreleased stuff that got released later and so on so uh, you can hear the background some of the stuff and the, let's just get going I have a lot of CDs to show so be patient the first one playing in the background one of the great scores I, uh, I did here last month, uh, US band, J Train. This is from 1993. Check them out. The song you listen to, you can find on uh, YouTube. It's called uh, Feel the Itch. But uh, really cool hard rock, early 90s hard rock, uh, groovy, a little bit funky, but most of all just groovy hard rock, really cool, cool vocalist, check them out. Next up, this is an, uh, a US uh, melodic rock AWA band. Uh, they released this album in 1990. Uh, Quaid. This is called Heaven's Break. Uh, cool AOA melodic rock, melodic hard rock. Uh, they released an album before that, this one, uh, that is really rare, this is also rare, but uh, check them out. Next up, this is a collection of unreleased stuff. Uh, this is a German band, the singer won the German version of Senior Idol. Old, old singers, yeah, in Germany. Um, this band released an album 1988, Melodic Hard Rock, uh, Melodic Rock AOA, what you will call it. And uh, I think it was last year they released uh, a double album, Digital. Uh, with stuff they've recorded in that in that session to that album, and it got released on CD. With Caro, Heavy Birthday, uh, two and three, because the first album was called Heavy Birthday. But cool melodic hard rock from uh, uh, Germany. This is a double CD. Really cool uh, collection of songs, some really cool stuff, and good sound. Uh, don't get fooled by the uh, demo uh, label, it's really cool. Another unreleased album, this just got released this year. Uh, they released two albums in the 80s, uh, UK, UK band. And it's Shogun, uh, Shogun 3, the last album, um, cool, in the same vein, vein as the first two albums, and this was limited to 500 copies on CD, so if you can find it, check them out. Then an album that I have on, on vinyl, but I found it really cheap on CD, so I have to get it. Magus Schenker Group uh, from 1992, MSG. 
everybody knows who uh, MSG is, so. But found it cheap, so had to get it. Uh, re release on CD. Um, I have it on vinyl. US Glam Metal, Dirty Blonde, Passion. This released on Demon Doll Records. Great uh, glam metal in the poison vein. If you like poison, check them out. Another re release. Um, original released in 94, I think. I can't remember. The Shy Tiger, Feed the Kitty, and their EP Tales Out that was released before uh, the album. This one, 19, uh, this one, 2018. Great US hard rock. Check them out. Now to some unreleased stuff. This was released on CD in 2008. And this is really cool if you like uh, Danger Danger that melodic hard rock sound from that time you were like uh, these guys jungle blue call of the wild and this was released in the early 90s i think it was 91 oh recorded never released but uh, check them out Another collection of unreleased stuff. These guys uh, re uh, recorded and released one album in 1990. Uh, UK band. No, US band. Uh, later in 2006, I think, there was released two CDs of demo material. Really good sounding demo material. And the CDs uh, were sold out, and uh, the record company went bankrupt, closed. Uh, so not easy to find, but I finally got one at a really good price. And the band is uh, Blue Tears, uh, dancing on the back streets. This is one of the uh, two CDs. Now I just need the other one. But melodic hard rock. Like the first Blue Tears album from 1990. This is really, really good. Finally, a new release. I actually just got this last week, yeah. Uh, Swedish AOR. These guys. Um, it actually says here, no, Norwegian. Hardware 86, that's the band, started as, a, started as a study project at the Norwegian University of Technology and Science, aiming to find the true sound of 80s rock using modern equipment. So that's why they, they released this, uh, or recorded these songs. And Hardware 86, limited edition. And this is a seven song album EP. Uh, it has David A. Sailor on some of the vocals. He later he uh, died a couple of years ago. These songs were recorded in 2012, 13 and 16. But really cool American sounding AOR from sounding like they were, they were from the mid 80s. Uh, check them out on, on YouTube, uh, check out Arena, uh, which is really cool, or Share This Love. They sound like they were recorded back then, really cool. Now a couple of singles. I'm beginning to find singles with unreleased stuff on it, uh, unreleased uh, songs that never got on the album. This is a couple of them. The first one is uh, Roadhouse, Tower of Love. Um, 
you can see the CD here. And the song, that, there's a couple of songs here. There's the Tower of Love, which is on the, on the album. And there's Can't Take the Credit for It and Freight Train Acoustic, acoustic vi Version. These two are not on the album. So pretty cool and uh, some great songs. I like finding those obscure stuff. And the other single is uh, It's Alive, Sing the Blues from 1993. Uh, the Swedish band It's Alive. This has uh, the first one is Sing the Blues Power Failure Radio Session. This is actually a, an acoustic version of the song. And the song Damnation, which isn't on the album. This is from 1993, uh, Swedish, it's a funky hard rock, uh, like Electric Boys and that sort of things. And it is with uh, Max Martin that later went on to uh, write songs for Backstreet Boys and then Sing and Britney Spears and Katy Perry and so on. But uh, this was before or pre that uh, he made funky hard rock. And this is from uh, their second and last album from 93. Another collection of unreleased stuff. This was released on Melodic Rock Records. Um, it's a songwriter called Mark Baker. And the album is called The Future Ain't What It Used To Be. Uh, he recorded a lot of songs. Uh, he wrote some of the songs uh, from the Demons Down album by uh, Unruly Child and uh, Signal. Yeah, um, can't remember what it's called, but from 1990 with uh, Mark Marcy Free on vocals. And this has also most of the song on this album, uh, most of the demos on this album has Marcy Free on vocals. And there are some really cool melodic rock songs in this one. Check them out. Uh, songs like Nobody Gets Out Alive or The Future Ain't What It Used To Be. Some really, really cool. Uh, that could have been on any melodic rock albums in 1989, 90. Uh, some really cool stuff. Check it out. And I keep going in the unreleased stuff. This is another one, also uh, a great uh, find. Um, this was recorded, I think it was around 1990. It was released in 2006. Um, and it's Kid Blue, Big Trouble. Uh, really cool. The title track, Big Trouble. If it, if it was released in 1989, it would have been a big hit. You can find it on YouTube, Kid Blue, Big Trouble. Listen to that song. If you like the sound, the glam hair metal from 1989, 1990, check them out. Really cool song and the rest of the album is also really good. And it's not easy to find now, but uh, check them out. Um, now to something a little different. I listened to one song on YouTube by this band. Um, and I, I was thinking, I like the funky sound. Uh, Dan Reed Network, something like that. Really cool. And this sounded like Dan Reed Network. It's a Christian band called Versus Stuff That Matters. This is from 1993. I found it really, really cheap online, and I thought, why not uh, check it out? And the song I, I listened to was Mind Made Up. Um, it's also the best song. The rest of the songs are more poppy, uh, more sound like um, Michael Jackson poppy sound from that era. Um, but the first song, Mind Made Up, is a really cool, funky, melodic, hard rock song, like Dan Reed Network. 
So check that out on YouTube. Mind Made Up by Versus. Uh, I had to listen to the rest of the album some more, but uh, that song alone is really, really cool. I liked it. This is an obscure band, their second release from 1996, uh, Inside Out Seasons. Great US hard rock. It doesn't sound like it was released in 1996 or recorded in 1996. Sounds more like 91, 92, where the glam metal went more hard rock uh, in the early um, 90s. They re this is their second album. They released their first album in 93 and also really hard to find. Uh, I would love to get that sometimes. Um, but this is really, really good hard rock from that era. Uh, don't be fooled by the 1996 label uh, on this album. Uh, I've listened a lot to this album uh, online and I thought to myself, now I need to have it. I have their first four albums on vinyl. This was never released on vinyl, it's from 1994. It's with another vocalist. The original vocalist was Tony Mills, that died earlier this year. Um, but I actually really like this album. It's Shy, Welcome to the Madhouse, from 1994. A great hard rock album. UK hard rock from 1994. Check it out. It's really, really cool. I like it a lot. This was a Swedish band that released one album in 1994. And this just got re-released by Demon Doll Records. It's Wanted, Over the Top. Great hard rock from 1994. Uh, yeah. Check them out. Look it up on YouTube. There's so much unreleased, cool unreleased stuff. Uh, or, or stuff that never got the, uh, never, never got noticed back then. Because it was released in small quantities or there wasn't room for hard rock like that at that time because Grunts have, have taken over, but this is also really, really cool. Now, the last three re releases and some unreleased stuff by the same band. Uh, just got, just got re released by a band, uh, by a US uh, record company. Uh, Scott Waters also showed these, and I got mine too. It's Angelica, uh, Christian hard rock, melodic metal. This is amazing stuff. Uh, I really like these albums. Uh, and they sound amazing uh, in the new remastered version. Um, this is the first album. Original from 1988-89 From 1989 First album Yeah Really cool This has uh, Rob Rock on vocals That later went on to sing for uh, Impeditary and release solo albums What a vocalist I really like him First one Second one Walking in Faith the cover is a little updated, uh, and this was from 1990. New vocalist, still a good vocalist. Uh, cool melodic metal from that time. Uh, I could listen to this all, all day. Um, really, really cool. And the last one, was, which is the most inter interesting for me, I haven't listened to it yet. But I have to, soon. 
uh, Angelica, the demo sessions. This was the demos that got uh, Dennis Cameron, the guitarist, the um, record uh, deal to release the album. This is the two demos that got him the record deal. I'm looking forward to listening to this. Yeah, this was a long one. Um, hope I, I, I uh, got something for you here that inspire you to check out some of the cool, unreleased, obscure stuff that that is out there on CD. I know a lot of uh, of you uh, only collect on vi uh, collect vinyl, but you're really missing out on a lot of cool stuff that only was released on CD. Also that actually was recorded back when vinyl was still around uh, but somehow never got the recognition that it, it should have. There's a lot of cool stuff if it's only one song or a whole album a lot of cool stuff out there that you need to check out explore uh, take some time to check out YouTube uh, some of the stuff I said check it out on YouTube uh, if you like the glam hair hard rock from uh, 80s and early 90s, there's a lot of stuff here to check out. I know I said it a, a lot of times, check out, check it out. So yeah, that's all for me. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've, I've done one last, uh, one update last, but I'll do one once in a while when I get the time, uh, have the time. So, yeah, let's see some comments. See you later. Bye.